All right, folks, welcome back to Irish and Scottish fishing and fly tying. So today I'm just going to tie up my uh, black and scarlet cormorant. I found this pattern about four or five years ago, and I was at a fishery back home in Ireland, and uh, seen it in one of their boxes, so I grabbed it and fished it and had quite a lot of fish to it. So ever since that day I've uh, put this into my box and it's in line with the uh, same cormorants that I'm only putting in my box at catch fish. So just to get things started we'll, we'll move on. So this is my, going to be my black and scarlet cormorant. So same as before, start things off with a size 10 camison B1. Seven five. Make sure it's on the vice good and tight. All I'm gonna do is start with just run up the black thread. It's in uni thread EO. Stop it there. Then I'm gonna come in with red holographic and medium. I'm gonna run it down the hook, catching it into the top of the hook. Right, just loosen the bobbin and bring it up. All you want to do is just work your thread down the hook bed. And about that area there. Stop there. And all you want to do is start start to form a bit of your tag. I right, put a bit of a three turn tag on. I like fishing with uh, the red holographic tags. I think they, uh, for me in a way, I think they bring the fish in. So all you're going to do is do a couple of turns in there. Two turns over the top of the hook, and then bring the thread up to the top, back up to the end of the hook. And all you want to do is just run this over the top. Don't worry too much about it being there, we're going to tidy it up in a minute. And then bring it down to the bottom of the hook, a couple more tight turns in there, a couple more tight turns, and then bring it down through the bottom of the hook. The reason why I'm doing this is when I bring this up as my rib, I want it on the bottom of the hook so I can start my turn straight away. Then all you're going to come in with now is you're going to come in with black peacock curl. This is vineyards. I tie in, snip off the two, snip off a bit of bottom, about an inch and a half of the ends, and then tie in from the ends. So you just want to just catch that in. Make sure. Where you want to start again just work your thread up to the top of the hook so you're in this position and then all you want to do then is grab your peacock curl start working being careful not to catch the hook in nice touch and turns coming up and you'll end up forming quite a nice black body just being careful with peacock curl because it is it can be temperamental it is easy to snap if you don't take your time with these just bring it up to there so he turns over the top and pull it back and lock it off. Keeping pressure on the bobbin, just pull them off. That one's being a bit temperamental. There we go. And put another couple of turns in just to make sure it's not going to unravel. Then you want to come up with your rib. You'll get you'll get about three, four turns out of this. Nice evenly spaced rib. Just take your time, make sure you can keep tension on the rib as well. So there's three, and I'm going to finish on four. Over the top of the hook, two turns, throw a courtesy pull, pull back in the red holographic. There we go. And you want to come in and just snip it. Press scissors. As I say, I've kept this end quite. A little bit of space in the end because I'm going to be tying in my marabou. So to start with, I'm going to be using scarlet marabou. And for this, because I'm going to be tying in two parts, I'm going to be grabbing about a centimetre of the wing. So if you look, that's what I'm going to be grabbing there. Just rip that off. And same as in all my other cormorant videos, just work the fibres to get all the loose ends out. Right, 
going to come in and cut once. Then pull all the fibres out then. Again, all this does is gives you, makes it easier to tie it in, and gives you a nice tidier, kind of cleaner head. And let's finish off coming in with your second cut. Moisten. All you want to do now is just come in, catch it in on the top of the hook, a couple of light turns, make sure you're happy with it. There you go, I'm happy. Now you want to come in with your black marabou, same as before. Just want to be grabbing about a centimetre. There you go. Change hands. Pulling all those fibres out, working the wing. Come in and do your first cut. Grab the ends. Pull all those fibres out. Second cut. Then moisten. Put that on top of the hook. Before you lock down, just make sure you're happy with the position of the wing. Yep, that was good. Couple of light turns. Now we're not for this pattern. When on the initial one it was split jungle cock eyes. But uh I've I ended up purchasing a good cape, so I've uh, I've already prepped my jungle cock eyes. If you look, it's a bit annoying having to prep these little small fibers, but they are good. I think it really sets off this pattern. So all I'm going to do is bring come in with my jungle cock. A little bit footery putting this on. Just going to put two light turns in there. Position the eye in the position I want it. Come in when I. Second jungle cock eye, rotate, rotate the vise, just hold it in place, now our two light turns, quick check to make sure it's all roughly in the same position, which it is, yep that's good, pinch, Work your way down the thread, down the eye, and when you get to the ends, what I like to do is pull, hold them, and then put a couple of turns in. Good tight turns. Come in with your scissors, and then just cut them. Got a couple of those fibers there, so just lick your hands a little bit. Not you're not going to do the wing yet, but then all you want to do is just start building up your head. You say just take your time with this. And a nice, nice smooth head. Maybe a bit of wing fiber there. Take your time. Say so working with the eight old Fred. Let you have a nice tight head. There we go. That was it. So I'm gonna come in from the whip finish. Three turn whip finish this time on this fly. One, two, three. I'm gonna do this twice. One, two, three. There we go. Come on, Mummy Stanley, and then snip. And then I'm going to sort my wing out. So, all I do then is just work my wet fibers up there. I'm happy with them. I know where I'm at. And then I pinch. And that is it. You can, you can give it a bigger wing if you want. I'm going to you know, wet the fibers so I know how it's going to be sitting in the water when it's fishing. And if you look at that there for the competition gauges. Right, you're well in. You can, as I say, you can, you can afford to put a bigger wing on if you want. 
that's the pattern finished so all I'm going to do now is I'm going to come in with me Vineyards Fine Head Cement little fine touch and like all my cormorants I like putting two coats of this on so I'll put a little fine coat on to start with just taking my time working my way round round the head making sure I don't touch any of the other fibres and if you put a bit much on don't worry about it like you can like you can wipe your wipe your stick and you can come back in and it'll take a lot of the fibre off a lot of the thing and the varnish off it so that's it folks that's my uh, black and scarlet cormorant with jungle cock eyes so the pattern does work and I, I like to tie it on a size 12 and also I like to tie it on a size 10 and 12 booby but obviously with no jungle cock on it so they do work now uh, if you are happy with if you like my cormorant flies or any other trout flies, if you have a look at, into my channel and I've got uh, some other patterns on there. And uh, as the video's been playing, there'll be links up in the bars. Also, uh, when we can get back out in the water, we're going to be putting fishing videos up and there's going to be salmon fishing, trout fishing and sea fishing. And hopefully in the next couple of days, I should be putting one an our uh, tackle review up. So uh, if you like my videos, Please like and subscribe and more more videos will follow. So thanks for watching and stay safe folks.